So this is the example which actually came from uh, the talk I watched from Terence Tao, who's a very famous kind of mathematician. And what we were talking about was actually in mathematics when he started to kind of learn his craft. You have lots of seemingly separate things like algebra, geometry, uh, differential equations, and lots of different other types of maths, which all at the moment, when you first start to learn them, they don't seem to be linked. And the way that he described it, which actually I thought was really nice, good morning Simon, was actually like mountain peaks. And what was interesting was that each of the main topics seemed independent when he first kind of started out. And what I thought was really interesting is actually, I think this is true with business. So for me, and when I kind of first launched the, the roadmap, I was almost treating separately uh, marketing, sales, strategy, and management are all in many ways seen as four separate disciplines. So if you go to any bookstore, pretty much they're gonna be not in a separate aisle, but most books only cover one topic. So inher you know, inherently they get kind of quite complicated. And one of the things that was really interesting that he said that the more he uh, developed his knowledge over time, it started like there was these separate kind of mountain peaks and there was just a fog which was here, which actually he couldn't see because he didn't have the knowledge or the experience to kind of, you know, understand it. But then actually, as he went through his career, learned more and more stuff, he started to see how they interlinked. And almost below the mountains, he said that he could actually start to see how these all intertwined and he describes it like cities. So actually, you know, as you learn more, you see that actually these two are connected and so are they and how it all kind of interlinks. And again, what I thought was really interesting using the city analogy is that then what you have in cities, you have roads. And it was almost quite a nice analogy for the roadmap is actually what we try and do is help link seemingly separate business concepts, but show how they can be used together, how they work together and how they each make each other better, if that makes sense. Something I spoke about in last week's kind of stream, I'm just gonna get a different pull pen is actually it was to do with the basic compounding effect of if you kind of get good at multiple things. And um, we use the example of Olympic teams, and then we've got the Beijing kind of Winter Olympics. But basically it's the compounding effect that if you get 10% better or 20% better against lots of different things, the really kind of impact that can have. And again, on the roadmap, the reason why we have, well actually now there's 15 different modules which range from uh, understanding your aims and goals, your personal brand, uh, finance, your know, business strategy, we have sales, marketing, leadership and management. But actually, if you get better at all of those, it has a genuine compounding effect on your ability. But actually, when you first start your career, it's not uncommon that, I, I spoke to a chap this morning who wants to start a business in the next kind of six months. So what will probably happen is that he probably knows his uh, main core topic inside out. So he'll be really experienced at something. But actually then if you're going to launch a business, you know, where do you start? How do you get your first feel for marketing or sales? And then actually how all this great sales information from someone like Brian Tracy, how can that be used to actually on your personal brand? What even is a personal brand? So what we try and do on the roadmap is actually give you the city and give you the road map to really help you kind of piece it all together. But just for me, it was a beautiful example of someone using a, a description in mathematics to describe one thing. And actually I thought it was quite nice for business as well, that you don't need to know everything from day one. I'm still learning this, but then likewise, the more I kind of do my homework and learn different things myself. You get into the granular detail that actually when you work with people on specific issues, if you genuinely know something inside out, you can hopefully talk about it quite clearly and simply, but also with real world kind of practical experience. Um, so it was just something I wanted to talk about, you know, for your own business or career, is there anything that you've kind of at first seemed really complicated, but then actually the more you got into it, it kind of got easier. I'd love to know. And then this all also gets chopped up and clipped up onto YouTube as well. Uh, if you ever want to catch up on any of the kind of previous concepts.